Welcome back everyone, welcome to a new series for the channel. In prep for part 2 coming in February, we're gonna start Final Fantasy 7 Remake, yes. And of course, afterwards the intermission as well. I'm very excited. I'm really curious on uh, how we'll do uh, this time around, cause after playing Final Fantasy 16, well we are almost done with that, but yes. I've learned a lot better how to handle my action RPGs, well Final Fantasy action RPGs, so hopefully that will help me in this game as well. But it's gonna be a lot of fun going uh, through this. And it's gonna be of course on the PlayStation 5 and I've decided to play it in performance mode as because of the high action we want that extra frame rate in order to have a, a smooth experience all around. I might try once or twice during the playthrough on graphic mode to see how well it performs, how much better it looks. Because I know that uh, on um, like uh, graphical mode it's in 4K but on 30 FPS. So that is uh, trading one in for the other. So I do want to test it out but I think overall we probably would play it playing it in performance mode. So for now, let's just get straight into it. And I'm really curious to see uh, how it will hold up. All right, camera controls. Just do it default. Uh, difficulty normal, normal, classic. Hmm. Select the difficulty of the game. This setting can be changed at any time in the option menu. Classic is recommended if you want to focus on using commands in battle. Oh, so it's like a semi-action wise, is it? Hmm, I wonder. I feel like classic mode would be more up my alley. But seeing as we can change it at all times in the option uh, menu, uh, shall we... You know what, I I'm gonna test it out in between the first and the second episode and then we'll decide which one we have. For now, let's put it on normal, because I'm pretty sure the tutorials will be for the normal experience. So beautiful. Look at that. And in part two, we're going to be walking there. The city feels so much alive, uh, doesn't it? Just people going about with their normal lives while nature slowly dies around them. <laughs> That's of course where Avalanche comes in. There she is. The girl with the beautiful green eyes.
really, dude? Let's watch where you're going. Loveless. Ah, goosebumps all over. <laughs> There he is, our hero. Mine, Cloud. Time to show your stuff. The destruction of Mako Reactor One, Chapter One. Can't talk to him yet. How? Who goes there? You're up. Alright, the basics of battle. Use square to attack with cloud sword. Hold X to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. Alright. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. I don't think so. Not bad. Not too bad. Alright, let's check out the area before we continue onwards. Like what can we cut? What can we find? Ah, that we can destroy. Well, we can uh, move around and uh, leave a very big mess for the next person that uh, has to work on the platform. <laughs> Trust me on that. The ATB gauge fills as time passes, and by attacking the square once a bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. You can expand ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands, such as using abilities, magic, and items. Press X and Try using one of those commands. Alright. Enough of this. It slows down. And then, oh. Of course, uh, confirm, braver. Not too bad. Really, you're still alive. Oh, no more charges. Checking uh, data out of battle. Main menu and map. When not in battle, you can check the map open menus and view various kinds of information. Press the back button to open the main menu. 
press the touchpad to access the map and check your various objects. Uh, when the forward icon appears, move your character close to it to automatically jump, crouch or perform whatever other action is required. Alright, from the main menu, you can view your inventory and gameplay status as well as save and load your game. Ooh, so we can save at any time we want? Yes we can! Ah, I always like it when I can do that. Much easier on the playthroughs. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have. Spells, we got fire. Inventory, we got six potions, one ether. And we intel. We got a security officer, and that's it. Now, we'll uh, be getting many of those eventually. Battle settings. How does it mean that we can also use quick buttons to use our commands? That would be good. So with uh, the L button and one of uh, each four. Potion, Focus, Trust, Bracer, Braver. And of course we can change that and limit break whenever it pops up. I'm pretty sure we'll get the uh, explanation once we get there. Oh, and of course the touch screen. On the map screen you can check your current scenario objectives and view the lay of the land. Beautiful. And of course over the gates we have our next objective yeah we, we haven't uh, done a lot just yet because we're just getting started <laughs> drop the weapon drop the weapon i am the weapon guarding and evading you can defend against enemy attacks by pressing the R1 to guard or circle to evade. A successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB cage. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Just need to now figure out how I can focus on enemies if they are behind me, but that shouldn't be too difficult. No doors I can interact with. Can I uh, take some money? No. <laughs> Not even if I hit on it. Use triangle to open chest and doors or to talk to people. If you see the word hold, then you need to hold down the triangle button rather than just pressing it. Obtained two more potions. Thank you very much. Yes. Give me all the chests and two grenades. Interesting. I wonder how powerful grenades are, because if they are very powerful, we might want to save them up for a little bit more than foot soldiers. <laughs> if you find boxes with the Shinra logo, press uh, square to smash them with your sword. They may contain useful items such as potions that restore HP or Mako shards that restore MP. Yes. Potion. Nope. If you are guys are standing there, then I'm going over here. A Mughal medal. And that apparently is a key item. Okay. A medal with a Mughal on it. A popular item amongst collectors. So it's a collectible. Good. Let's see if we can get as many as we can. Soldier Boy's deal. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one time gig. When it's done, we're done. 
Well, we'll definitely do our best. Alright, I, I am feeling that I might need to change the balance with the sound because the music is louder than the voices, so I might need to up the voices if I can and lower the music comparatively. It should be possible, right? I might as well check out the menu system, see how it works. Speech. Yes. Let's go this down to seven. We're doing this. We're really doing it. Man, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Alright, I might play around with uh, those levels in between the episodes, but like I said, I want to make sure that we do hear what they are saying. I also want to hear the music, but yeah, I don't want to miss anything that they are busy with. Okay, they're trying to get in. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? <laughs> Wedge. Uh. <sighs> yes, Wedge, be professional. <laughs> Focus on the job at hand. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> Iconic shot right there. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Everything is still destroyed, so no new boxes we can uh, abuse. You can uh, press the R3 to lock onto a specific target. Press R3 again to unlock. While locking onto a target, you can use R or the diagonal buttons to switch between multiple targets. And that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> Get him, boy. Okay, if we like this, we don't necessarily need it. Uh, I didn't kill the guy back there. I, I'm fine with it, of course. I think combat like this makes it a bit more hectic, but it could also be a bit more fun. Oh! Oh, my charges are gone after a fight? Really? I do know that with uh, fighting like this, I do need to make sure that I keep an eye out for my HP. Because I've seen it with Final Fantasy 16 as well, that if I'm too engrossed in combat, I, I start to forget about how much HP do I actually have. Because I did notice that I was already halfway down my max. So we have to make sure that we do heal up in time. Is there a quick look? It was a circle for potion, focus trust, that is two bars, it's a triangle, okay. Another medal, thank you very much. It does seem to be getting a lot of uh, shards, so maybe try using fire during combat? Let's just see uh, how well it works against our enemies.
You got it open yet? Thank you. This way. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I just want to check out uh, the rest. Because, yeah, we don't want to miss these boxes. I think having like a cure or something would be very nice because if we're getting so many Mako shards we might as well use it to keep our HP up as well. Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. Really? And instead of helping, you're just walking away? Fine. Should be easy. <laughs> Never in doubt. Neither was I, but uh, those cones, they had to be going down. Alright, let's go. Do we have to make sure we look around as well as we can? Don't want to miss any secret items or stuff. So there's one bar. I thought it was gonna be one, two. It's fine. Nothing to it. Use that. I've seen two potions. Yes, give it to me. And yes, everything that I think I can uh, hit for reaction, I will definitely do that. <laughs> It's there! We might as well use it. Oh, wait. Did they close the door behind me? Do we not talk to you? Why are you not uh, coming with us? Do you have a separate mission? Reactor 1. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <laughs> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Very sound reasoning. Alright, we can talk to Jesse. I'm watching you. Yeah, I'm watching to you too, big guy. We just That's don't want any distractions. Life. Switching modes. Every character has a unique ability which you can activate with the triangle button. With Cloud's uh, mode shift ability, you can switch between his balanced operator mode and his attack oriented finisher mode. Press triangle to find out. Yeah, we already did. He's alone! We can take him! Make it rain! Okay, so spells also cost a gauge, alright. No problem with that. Punisher mode. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but uh, Square unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such an attack, you will be switched back into your operator mode. You've got this. He 
Yeah, covering our back, it's important, but not the hardest of jobs. Well, what are you waiting for? Mm, nothing in particular. Simmer down, hotshot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Then we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> I got this place covered. Don't worry. If she gets attacked, we'll be there to uh, help her out. Ooh, a tuft of phoenix down. Which I don't know how useful that will be if I'm by myself, but this technically to pick up uh, only down players. Tight. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Yeah, I don't mind uh, pushing uh, somebody's buttons. Definitely not. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? The old homestead, isn't it? Niflheim, if I'm correct. Cloud! Are you ignoring me? Tifa and I. The main office. <laughs> These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the flag crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again! <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. <laughs> or the propaganda, how you want to call it. <laughs> Ooh, cannons. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> uh, maybe you should have, but uh, sure. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> just as long as we survive this entire encounter. <laughs> Oh. 
Join the party, Barrett Wallace. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks. Holding down the square button releases a substantial burst of automatic fire when equipped with a ranged weapon. Barrett can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> Overcharge. Press triangle 1 in control of Barrett to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATV gauge. Once unleashed, it takes a long time to recharge this attack. Press triangle, however, will speed up that process. Alright, we must have some abilities here. Focus shot, yes. Oh wait, okay, I thought that was for targeting. Which is fine. Oh, that worked pretty well. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can stick with the same character and issue orders to party allies. Use up and down and side to side to switch characters and use the L2 or R2 to issue commands to allies. Damn, didn't even see that small one. At least for a little while. Okay, so we will actively switch between uh, all our active characters while we're playing around. Well, when it's necessary. Because I'm pretty sure the AI will be good at certain things that I might not be good at. Yeah, secure. You can move around outside of battle more quickly by holding the R1 to dash. Or you can press the L3 once, once to keep dashing until you stop moving. Oh, that sounds like a really nice skill to have. I heard that. <laughs> And I'm uh, running uh, further ahead than the lights are because I'm not sure if Barrett can uh, get hit if he's still standing still inside the lasers. Ooh, what the hell? You're doing good, so Almost got hit there. That was a very short one. Careful, careful. Don't uh, tease me by going off, really. See, he is getting hit if uh, I'm not careful. It's a very aggressive walk in the park, but technically speaking, yeah. Ooh, another box. More potions to heal the damage we did. <laughs> yes, two more potions, good. 
All right. Is it really with no scratches? Uh, roughly speaking. And this is what I wanted to see. Yeah, Barrett has his MP back because of the shards. Very good. It means that we can use our magic and have it recharged by uh, destroying the boxes around ourselves. Very good. Uh, can we go back yet? <laughs> that might be a bit too big for me to handle. A bottle of ether. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's a hint that we need to use our magic. We can do that. Ah, we can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapon to fight for. If we rush in. Is that right? Need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. All right, let's uh, use some magic then. <laughs> Hitting enemies with uh, certain attacks and dealing large amount of damage will temporarily knock them off balance, and pressure will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens them with spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge under their life bar. Once it's full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic use, as well as the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective attack to quickly finish off each enemy. Hey, it's not moving. Let's put it down. Give it all you've got. Time to burn. <laughs> Enemies who have been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Using unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATP gauge. Boost your ATP gauge quickly so you can unleash more abilities and spells. Now's our chance. Go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, come on, do your focus shot. I think we got a lot out of them. And down she blows. What are you? Twenty something? First. Huh? Soldier in first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I uh Soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm -hmm. Guess that makes you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn. Yeah, very funny, Barrett. Very funny. <laughs> Will be the strongest one-year-old I've ever seen, that's for sure. Who said that? Can we? Eh, might as well. Just gonna assume we're gonna find some boxes soon. Ah, and there it is, the heart of the reactor. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I can imagine so, that in the reactor core that it will be very thick here. Are there enemies here too? More Phoenix Downs, which is very useful now that we have Barret in our team. Good luck to you too. And it looks like we're not there yet. Okay, let's see what's on this side. Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. Oh, 
come on, I just want to explore everything first before we have to go, really. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, considering what's uh, gonna happen at the reactor, I will probably cut the episode just before, but let's see how close we can get. Controlling Barrett is a lot easier than, than it is with Cloud, but being able to swing that massive sword does have its uh, moments, doesn't it? few boxes left so shall we see if we can heal or would it just be a waste yeah, potentially ah uh, they're all empty <laughs> oh, well we got an ether as an item too and we got another one perfect all right seeing as the next ladder will take us down to the level of the reactor i think i'm gonna leave the episode here next time we're gonna go down there to the reactor place the bomb and see how everything works out so for now i wish you all a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and be back next time because it's gonna be an explosive episode for sure see you then bye bye